In this video, we're going to go over the NAT and port forwarding uh, features of MOX's AWK 1137 wireless unit. It basically allows us to connect to local devices uh, that don't have Wi-Fi capabilities uh, over our existing plant Wi-Fi network. Uh, this is the example diagram uh, that we're going to have set up. For this example, so we're going to have an IOLogix E1212, which is a remote I.O. connected to our AWK uh, unit, which is then going to be connected via Wi-Fi to our plant network, and our PC, which is also connected to the plant Wi-Fi network, will connect to the AWK unit, which will forward all of the uh, communications from the E1212. All right, let's go ahead and jump into uh, the AWK configuration. This is the default IP address. And All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and connect to our wireless network. Uh, from here, it's simply the basic uh, wireless local area network setup. We can click on Site Survey to find all available Wi-Fi networks. All right, these are all the available Wi-Fi networks. I'm going to go ahead and choose the strongest signal of the guest network that I want to use which is OC guest here, which is fine. I'm going to click Submit. And I'm also going to change the security settings because this network does have a password. Now we'll click Submit as well. And we want to make sure that our operation mode is set to uh, Client Router and that wireless is enabled. Good. Click Submit here. And we're going to, uh, in the meantime, set our IP address assignment for our Wi-Fi network. In this case, it's the, the WAN network here to DHCP so I can discover what subnet this network is on. And then I can set a static IP address, so that way my uh, DHCP server of the plant network doesn't change this, the AWK's IP address in the future. Alternatively, you can also assign a uh, IP address on the DHCP server itself. So let's go ahead and restart. Save and restart our AWK unit. There you go. Usually takes about 40 to 60 seconds to fully restart. So I'll pause the video here and pick it up uh, after the unit's back online. All right, now that our AWK unit has successfully reset, let's go ahead and log back in. Oops. Go ahead and click on, we can click on Overview. Uh, and you can see that an IP address was assigned to our AWK unit for its Wi-Fi uh, adapter. We can also click on status and wireless LAN status, see the current status of our Wi-Fi connection. Um, it looks pretty good. We are successfully connected. And now that we know our subnet from overview here, see it's 10.1.1.91, I'm actually going to set our Wi-Fi network, or our WAN here, to that address so it doesn't change in the future. Double check the mask. 
Okay, good. And the gateway. There we go. And let's go ahead and save and restart. Now that our AWK unit has successfully reset, let's go ahead and log back in again. Uh, check our overview. IP address is still the same, which is good. Check the status of the wireless network. We are currently connected. And from here, I'm going to actually connect to, oops, overview. I want to connect to this IP address while I'm connected to that uh, guest network. So on my computer, I'm going to connect to the OC guest network. There we go. And I'm going to navigate to this IP address in my browser. There we go. So I can successfully connect to the AWK unit over uh, our OC guest Wi-Fi network. So the next step here is to connect our remote I.O., our Moxa I.O. Logix E1212 um, to our AWK unit and configure our network address translation and port forwarding. And that's easy enough to do. Uh, from here, we just click on advanced setup and NAT and port forwarding. We're gonna want to enable NAT mode. Oops, into one. And then we also want to enable port forwarding. And just check the box. You can uh, forward multiple ports of multiple devices connected to the AWK unit. As you recall from our network diagram, we have our IO Logix box connected to the AWK unit using an Ethernet cable here. So we shouldn't have any connection issues between the two. And we are going to forward. So I don't want to. Uh, port 80 is the port we're actually using to connect to the AWK unit. Uh, port 80 is also used uh, to connect to the IOLogix box using a web browser. But if I want to continue to connect to the AWK unit on this uh, network's IP address, I don't want to forward port 80 from our IOLogix box to port 80 on the WAN port here. Our, so the IP address we're going to forward is from our E1212. If we click on network settings, Ethernet configuration, you can see our IP address here. So I'll just copy this. And we, will, we do want to make sure that our IOLogix uh, IP address is on the same subnet as our AWK's local area network. So in this case, that subnet is 192.168.127. Uh, as you can see here, the AWK, same subnet. And we're going to forward port 80 from our IO Logix box to port. Uh, we'll just choose some arbitrary port, 1234, should be fine. And Submit. Go ahead and save and restart. All right, so the Moxie unit has now reset, and we should be forwarding oops, our IO Logix uh, remote IO through the AWK unit. Let's double check our port forwarding uh, and NAT settings real quick. 
oops, um, advanced setup, that port forwarding. Okay, good. So the settings did take effect. So all we should have to do is connect to the IP address of our AWK unit that is on our uh, wireless Wi-Fi network and to port 1234. And that is simply, so you type in the IP address of the AWK unit, the colon, one, two, three, four. And it should forward us to our remote IO here. Right, there we go. Uh, something to keep in mind with port forwarding on some browsers, uh, by default, they want to connect to, connect to HTTPS. Uh, this is actually port 443, if you, and it won't connect to port 80 because it's not a secure port. You'll want to change it to HTTP. Uh, because if I change it to HTTPS, it will not actually load the page. And that's it. We have successfully forwarded port 80 from our IO Logics box at this IP address to port 1234 of our AWK's uh, Wi-Fi IP address.